I just had a client conversation and, and the topic was goals. And I really wanted to share this because I think it's something that, that, that many people struggle with. And, and 100% I include myself in the past with this. And what my client was struggling with and what I struggled with in the past was firstly setting goals and then also in, in, in kind of following through with those, like walking the path of, of, of or journey towards, towards that goal. And the reason why I wanted to share, not only because I think a lot of people struggle with this, but I think what came to me is that we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to think of these goals because we think that they will give us something. They will give us motivation. They will give us a direction. They will give us happiness. And yes, perhaps they might help us with a little bit of direction. But the thing is, is a lot of the times is that we we set these goals and then and then we we put too much on actually getting something. We put too much on receiving or creating the outcome of that goal. For example, like in the past, money for me or, or a girlfriend. And if I put, if I had a goal of getting a girlfriend or getting, I don't know, like six figures, whatever, then that's a cool if I have nothing on it. That's cool, like, if you're, if you're kind of like playing a computer game or something. And yes, I like Diablo, so I'm playing Diablo at the moment on my mobile. And if I have a general aim of kind of finishing the game, exploring everywhere and levelling up, um, that's cool. Like, that is 100% cool. Like, I, I don't necessarily have that in the forefront of my mind as an aim of playing a game. I just have fun and I just explore. But that really is the aim behind, aim behind games. That is that that is kind of like the whole point of games, to kind of to play it, have fun and complete it and, and explore everywhere, um, obviously, depending on what game you're playing. Um, but there's a freedom to that. There's like a feeling of freedom. Like, I have nothing on finishing Diablo. Or I have nothing on leveling up or getting a particular amount of money or or or, or whatever or a status. If I did, then that probably would no longer feel fun to me. It would feel like a chore. And it's exactly the same for life. Like once we start kind of having these goals, once we kind of start setting these goals to think that we're gonna get something like motivation or or whatever out of it, and and we start putting too much on the result, we start putting too much of ourselves, we give our power away to that result, our girlfriend, money, um, a house, car, once we give our power away, and I mean like once we think that that will make us feel something better, full, complete, happiness, whatever, whatever your particular game is, um, once we start doing that, we start losing sight of A, of who we are, that we have infinite power and we are the ones that kind of dictate uh, when we're happy or when we're enough. Um, although actually we're always enough because we can never not be enough because you can't physically add things to your to who you are the kind of like to your being it's just a physically impossible but once we kind of once we kind of start putting all these meanings to to our goals and aims then it really feels difficult it feels horrible and 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 we're playing the game of life from an aspect of the external world makes me feel something like if I get that money, girlfriend, whatever, it will make me feel something. But that's not true. How many people have reached their goals or their aims and gone, oh, I might feel good for like two weeks. I've got a new BMW or I've got a, a brand new house, girlfriend, whatever. Oh, I feel good for like two weeks. And then I'm like, oh, now what? How many people? I would say probably, and this is one of my wildly inaccurate statistics, but based on no empirical studies and science. But I would say 99% of people in this world do that. 99% of people have these goals and these outcomes. They put too much onto it. And they either work themselves to death trying to get it, or they get it and then they suddenly realise, oh, it doesn't make me feel happy. It doesn't make me feel happy. But, like, if you are just playing the game out of fun, that lightness, like coming back to playing Diablo, like if I have an aim of playing uh, in actual life, not in Diablo life, like that, like I can have an aim and I can have an outcome. Like oh, I'm, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna have fifty coaching clients. I don't want fifty coaching clients. But like if you, if I wanted that, I can go. Oh, that's just like a general aim. I can just play with. I can just kind of like have in the back of my mind. 
and that's totally cool but as i said once i start having meaning on that once i start putting meaning onto that then it doesn't know the game no longer feels fun the game of life no longer feels fun it feels like a slug and also when i come back to motivation if i think a goal etc is going to give me motivation then that's not that's not it, it kind of might help sometimes but like there'll be days when you kind of like you just don't feel like it and you're just like oh but i have my goal i have my outcome I should feel motivated, but you don't, and you don't do anything. Like, running on motivation is not a good way to live life. It's something that I 100% I've fallen into in the past. Like, if I run my life by motivation, then, then, like, for example, when I started going to the gym, I used to weigh quite a lot of weight. I have lost quite a lot of weight. Um, but when I started to go to the gym, like, nearly 10 years ago, I used to just rely on motivation. I'd be like, oh, do I feel motivated to go? Do I not? And it would be hit or miss whether I went. But when I actually just took motivation out of it totally, and I just went anyway, when I just went, oh, okay, I, I, I finished work or I finished school back 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 in the day uh, when I went to school, um, I used to finish and I used to just go, okay, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, I'm just going to go to the gym. I'm just going to, uh, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Like my bus leaves at 4.25. Um, I, get, I get there at five o'clock. I'm just going to do that. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 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 without fail. And that turned it into a habit. I didn't need the motivation because I just turned it into a habit, a healthy habit. Habits are not always unhealthy. Health, habits can be 100% useful and we can consciously create good habits, for example, like I did with the gym. But if I just relied on that motivation, then I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have lost the weight. I probably would have maybe had enough motivation for a couple, uh, maybe a, a couple of months and that would be it. So once I'm kind of using something external to myself, like goals and things like that, to then get motivated, then 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 we're giving, again, we're giving our power away. We're, we're kind of not understanding the process, but we're also giving our power away. And we're not understanding the process because, as I said, if, if we solely rely on, on, on motivation to get somewhere, then then inevitably we're, we're going to kind of fall within a month two months maybe maybe a year if you're really if you're really uh, really lucky um but the best thing to do is just do it anyway if there's something that you want don't feel motivated don't have to feel motivated don't rely on that motivation but but yeah for sure you can when you feel motivated which does happen at times then 100 percent cool but just keep going anyway even when you don't feel motivated but coming back to goals, like goals and aims can have a use for sure. But as I said, when we start to put things, meanings onto it, then then they start to cause an issue. They start to cause us difficulty in life. And that's time to kind of step back and just reevaluate and go, OK, like I would like that thing, but do I want that thing because I think it will make me feel better? Or do I want that thing out of fun? Is that kind of just like a fun aim, a fun goal? Like, oh, I don't know, I'd like to study a, um, uh, a coaching qualification next year or something. Like, is that a fun goal? Or is it something that you kind of like, oh, you think it will make you feel better? And and 100%, if, you, if you'd like, if you're not sure, then then, then 100% try it out and see, see what happens. Um, but inevitably, as I said, what happens is you achieve it and then, and then you kind of like, oh, now what? Oh, now what? Oh, now what? And coming back a, a step further to, to one of the issues that my client was having and something that I had, if you think, or if you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to try and find aims or goals because you think you need it, uh, for whatever reason, then, then I would invite you to, to kind of to be kind to yourself, to love yourself and just take a break. If you're really struggling with aims and goals and, and, and trying to work out what what you want to do in your life, then I would just say, look, just just take a break. And don't stop thinking about goals and aims. And and perhaps just try and think, oh, what would be cool to do? What would be cool to do? And have that kind of approach rather than what do I need to do? Or what do I what do I want to do because it will give me something? And just take that pressure off yourself because inevitably actually goals and aims will actually come out automatically as you go through life and as as a, as you walk through life but yeah i wanted to I wanted to share uh, 10 minutes of of my thoughts around goals and aims um 
I guess in summary, yes, goals and aims can be good, but if you're struggling with them, don't then just leave it. Um, and and if you're setting goals and aims because to, to get something because you're feeling you feel like it'll make you happy, then then I would welcome you to uh, to to investigate whether that's actually true, uh, whether it's been true in the past, and um, and yeah, for sure, test it out. And um, uh, I guess if you would like to help on anything that I've talked about, then feel free to. Uh, DM me for a free coaching session and um, yeah, have a have a awesome day wherever you may be in the world.